So simply go for it. We will not wait for too many of uh, uh, approvals and all. But something like some 40, 50 kilometers, we'll go for it as soon as IIT Madras, Professor Kamakoti says thumbs up. Like because if you want to build an airport, then it takes years now to, okay, so to, uh, several kilometers of runway you need and stuff. So this, this will not require that. Starting off, the best demonstrating team award is a recognition of the team that has showcased an outstanding and seamless execution of their high school prototype, demonstrating technical excellence and innovation. And this prestigious award goes to Team Loop MIT from Manipal Institute of Technology. Innovation in transportation is something that we are very proud of and I thank the entire team Avishkar. I am also one of the members of that, just a far away member. <laughs> but I really, really thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy uh, this success. Uh, this first uh, pod of 422 meters, first tube, this will really go a long way in developing the technologies. I think uh, time has come when after the first two grants of a million dollar each, the third grant of one million dollar will be given to IIT Madras for <laughs> further developing the Hyperloop project in a nice way. And uh, once we see the commercial, commercial or rather pre-commercial where the product is ready, then within the railway setup we will start the first commercial project will decide a site which can be used for good commercial transportation of let's say some 40-50 kilometers that kind of site we will decide and then we will go for it we will simply go for it we will not wait for too many of uh, uh, approvals and all but something like some 40-50 kilometers we will go for it as soon as IIT Madras Professor Kamakoti says thumbs up <laughs> that day we will go for it Thank you. So the way the technology penetrates is uh, completely phenomenal. Uh, given the transportation today, we are looking at zero emission. We are looking at a lot of energy saving. Uh, this is a very good centralization of the whole stuff. And the thing is that this can penetrate into the cities. Unlike an aeroplane, we get the speed as close to a plane, probably, or something measurable with a plane. Uh, and, uh, but we can penetrate into the city. Like because if you want to build an airport, then it takes years now to, okay, so to, uh, several kilometers of runway you need and so this, this will not require that. So that's the bigger advantage. So, so that's where uh, this uh, whole thing comes. And then uh, if I'm using one vacuum to uh, ship, uh, uh, you know, uh, 10,000 passengers a day uh, because at, a, at a phenomenal speed, and I think the energy consumption per kilometer per passenger if you evaluate, might, might be very less. So that way we will also become a green technology in that direction.